Hi guys, it's Joe and you're watching phonehouse.co.uk. Now, does size really matter? That's the question with Apple's top-end iPhone 6 Plus, where the dimensions have been a major talking point with some in favor and some very strongly against. But after a few days with a phone that has a screen more akin to a tablet than a traditional handset, will you be sold? Let's find out more. Let's start with build and design. And in terms of dimensions, it measures approximately 158 by 78 by seven millimeters and weighs 172 grams. Basically, it's massive. Now, in terms of specs and design, there isn't a huge amount of difference between the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6, apart from the obvious size. The 6 Plus does boast a couple of unique features, however. It's the first iPhone to pack a full HD display, plus its bigger body means it houses a larger battery than its 4.7-inch brother. Apple fans who've been desperate for a phablet-sized iOS handset, this is clearly the device for you. It looks and feels smooth and curvaceous, and the display is 1920 by 1080. For those who like a sleek finish, the camera juts out by a millimeter, and you may or may not get used to this. However, it's not the only phone on the market with this issue. Having a look at features, and well, let's start with the obvious, the screen. It is after all the whole design and engineering of the handset. Yes, there are other screen giants on the market, but as we know, Apple lovers are not easily tempted and here they get exactly what they ordered. In terms of usability, obviously it's easy to see what is on screen. However, some apps are not designed for this size and it has to blow up some images and text to around 90%. Now this is fine unless you're particularly fussy. There is also a zoomed viewing setting that really does inflate everything as though you'd slapped a magnifying glass over it all. Also, we have the two tap gesture, double tap the home button lightly and in portrait mode and the top of the screen slides down to the halfway mark. Then you can reach any part of the screen without having to adjust your hand position. The other feature unique to the 6 Plus is that when the home screen is rotated into landscape mode, the dock moves to the side. In the mail app, you get a two up view with email headers on the left and body text on the right. Among the applications here are updates of some familiar faces, including health and Apple's now free of charge productivity apps. These include pages, numbers, keynote, iTunes, U, and iMovie and GarageBand. Moving on to the camera, and it has an 8 megapixel 3264 by 2448 pixels primary camera with optical image stabilization, phase detection autofocus, and dual LED flash. The secondary camera is 1.2 megapixels and shoots at 720p at 30 frames per second, has face detection, HDR, FaceTime over Wi Fi, that kind of thing. Now, the camera on the iPhone 6 Plus benefits from OIS, which is optical image stabilization while the iPhone 6 only has EIS, which is electronic image stabilization. Now, the video quality is pretty good. You get 1080p at 60 frames per second, 720p at 240 frames per second with that optical stabilization. And the 6 Plus also adds a 240 frames per second slow motion filming, which is really, really cool and you can have a lot of fun with and actually something that might appeal to the amateur filmmakers out there who like to travel light. In terms of performance, it sports an A8 64-bit processor, one gigabyte of RAM, M8 motion co-processors, and providing the power behind the scenes on the 6 Plus is a 1.39 gigahertz dual-core processor with that 64-bit architecture. While, as always, the iOS is always well integrated, the specs pale in comparison to rival handsets, and for a model this size, you'd hope for considerably more power. As a result, the 6 Plus runs pretty smoothly, but may not be as quick as some of the absolute top Android handsets released in recent months, but we would like to emphasize that iOS is so good at dealing with that background noise, it's hard to notice much difference. Moving on to battery, and it has a 2915 mAh lithium polymer battery, and you're looking at a standby time of around 384 hours with talk time of about 24 hours when on 3G, and music playback is something around the 80 hour mark 
Now, battery life has been a bit of a sticking point for previous incarnations of the iPhone, but there's good news with the 6 Plus. They reckon you can get up to 14 hours of life from a single charge during video playback, or up to 80 hours from pure music playback, but still, maybe not what you'd hope for in a phone as big as this. So the obvious selling point of the 6 Plus is its whopping screen size, making it into a tablet phone hybrid. That being said, there are other smartphones on the market of a similar size with specs that blow this out of the water. However, many people have argued that iOS streamlines things enough so that any difference in processing power is really negligible. Overall, three out of five.